the deadliest and most ferocious sport on earth, extreme dodgeball. Hello fans, welcome, I'm Bill Dwyer. That's right, the game you either feared or relished as a child is set to become the next national pastime. Tonight, we kick off the first ever professional extreme dodgeball season. You can feel the excitement in the air. Sitting beside me is my rubber soulmate, Zach Selwyn. And Bill, you can drive my car. That's right, we have put together eight teams of the most deadly dodgeball players in the history of mankind. The certified public assassins. They were the biggest geeks in your high school. Now they're here to tax your ass. Meet the Curves of Steel. They're sleek, sexy, and their ball handling skills are world class. The only thing bigger than their biceps and hernias is their desire to win. It's the Barbell Mafia. Now don't let the makeup fool you. These creepy mutes can bring the pain. The silent but deadly minds. Ink, ink. These tattooed degenerates are not afraid of needles or dodgeball. The only thing they won't swallow is their pride. It's the Sumo Storm. These guys are tiny and deadly, just like a virus. They're the jockeys of the Stallion Battalion. And these red cops are no strangers to a full-body cavity search. Meet armed response. It all starts right now. Let's get to the action with our first featured match of the night. It's the little guys of Stallion Battalion versus the massive mountains of Sumo Storm. Let's go down to the floor. Jerry Matthews can introduce those two teams. Straight from the trailers of America's favorite shortest team in the league, but don't be fooled. These guys will beat an innocent horse, and they will beat another dodgeball team. Well put, Zach. They're led by Michael Pipkin. Before becoming a jockey, he was a Marine, and a short one at that. Kenny Sanchez has won 93 horse races. Let's see how he does in dodgeball. Mark Munoz has been a stunt jockey in many films, including Seabiscuit. We're rounding out the squad. We've got Christina, Shorty Knizner, and Lissette Garcia, the tall one. All right, and let's check out who they're going to be facing tonight. Jerry? They're big, they're bad, and they're wearing diapers. Let's hear it for the Sumo Storm. Well, you should never be scared of a man in a diaper because that's actually called a mawashi. It's a traditional loincloth, and the Sumo Storm are some of the largest players in this dodgeball league. Oh, and the arena shakes with a semi-traditional sumo opening. This team is led by America's Abessimus. He collects weapons, but never forgets that the greatest weapon is the mind. John Beardsley's workout routine includes sitting and more sitting. Dante Alighieri is the sumo superintendent of bathrooms. And rounding out the squad, literally, is Billy Carbo-loading Aqua Viva and Crystal Chainsaw Cartwright. Okay, imagine extreme dodgeball is the best of three games. Game is over when all five players on a team have been eliminated. For a more in-depth look at the rules, take a look at this. All right, first the bad news. You're out if you get hit by a ball, so it catches your throw, you step out of bounds or over the center line. The ball hits you and a teammate, you're both out. You can use a ball for defense, but if it gets knocked out of your hand by another ball, you're out. Here's the good news. If the ball hits the floor of the wall, it's dead. Headshots do not count. Every time your team catches the ball, one of your out players gets to come back in the game. When your team is down to one player, the regeneration target goes active. Hit it, your whole team gets back in the game, but you can only use that once. That's it. Have fun playing extreme dive ball. Who do you like in this bag? I like the sumos. They're powerful. They look like they've been working out, and they got the guy with the hairy back. I'll throw down my paycheck, and I'll take the jockeys in this one. I think they're small, fast, and hard to hit. Let's get down to the court where the ref is set to begin game one of this match. Stand and tailing, are you ready? Yeah! So we'll storm, are you ready? Yeah! Teams. Opening rush, this could be ugly, right into the attack circle. Oh, and Dante Alighieri, the former men's room attendant, is over the center line with a flagrant foot foul. He is out and very chubby. Jack is at both balls, just like that, Beardsley picked off. Good call by the ref. 
Well, just nicks his foot. Wow. Jackie just taking down two quick sumos right now. Americus knocking out Shorty Knizner. Knizner going out quickly. Meanwhile, Sanchez. Yeah. Sanchez bringing it. He takes out Cartwright with a big toss. Look at the captain, Americus. He goes down low and takes out Pipsqueak Pipkin. Sanchez is Wiley, you are correct. This is a quick jockey team, and right now they are just out hustling their porky opponents. Oh, oh, they nailed him. Trying to retrieve the first ball, and they harpoon him with the second. Aquaviva is sent packing, and it's time for Captain Americus to hit the regeneration target. Oh, he is pumped. Oh, the lefty. The jack is in. Oh my goodness, he took a spill, slipping and sliding all over the floor. We got a crack in the court. That registered an 8.4 on the Wicker scale. He took the regeneration target. His entire team is back out on the floor. You're able to do that one time per team per game. And the Jockeys are suddenly looking scared. Chris, oh, oh. great catch by the Jockeys. And there goes Beardsley. Beardsley with a nice jump, could not touch the ball. Oh, that Great one's catch there by Dr. to Viva. Uncle Viva's hairy chest. Dirty Sanchez is out of here, and for the sumos, Crystal Cartwright is back in. Americus, he's taking it. Good. Oh, oh, oh takes yeah. down Garcia, big hit. Then Americus immediately gets hammered himself. Let's see if Eminem Munoz can keep his team afloat. He does, getting out. Alagari, the sweaty chest, cost him there. Aqua Viva, the last player left for the sumos. Big hairy jello mold and Munoz just drills him. An absolutely incredible win for the little guys. The Stallion Battalion is up one zip. Others breaking the action. Let's step away for a quick commercial break. I'm going in. For game two, that means the big ball is in effect. Just like the small ball, only bigger. Kings. This is a must win for the Sumos after they got ridden hard and beaten by the Jackies in the first game. Oh my, yes. Second center line foul on the match for Sumo Storm. Cartwright gets sent off. Watch Beardsley. Power Great rejected. deflection there. Absolutely. Beardsley's got some power. He throws 47. That's not too shabby. Yeah. Oh. Munoz picked off by Americus. He's out big. Set that for the little team. Look at that. Look at the dodging by the Sumos. Aqua Viva with the impressive two-inch vertical lead. Oh, oh, Pipkin puts his tiny foot over the line. He's out. Aqua Viva comes at it. She's holding the big ball out there. It's deflection after deflection for Knizner. Leave it up to Sanchez right now. Oh, crowd noise. He's asking for crowd noise. Sanchez, come for Aqua Viva. Sanchez is done. Knizner is out there by herself. She needs to hit that regeneration target. Knizner has dropped the big ball for deflection. She's got all the balls in town. No coaching at all. Cartwright. Cartwright sacrifices herself. Aquaviva's got a shot! Oh, that's it! Sumos take the game with a big hit by Billy Aquaviva. Billy Aquaviva knocks Shorty up and out of the game. The Sumos have tied it up in one game apiece. We've got two tired teams and one hot sideline reporter. Jerry's down in the midst. Let's see what she's got. Jerry. I've got Mark here. It looks like you may have caused your team the game. You were on the bench the entire time. What happens? Uh, a little diving incident from a ball that just caught me uh, kind of off guard. But uh, we're going to finish them off in the third. The big guys are going down. All right. Well, back to you guys. Thanks, Jerry. Time for game three. That means dead man walking. Dead man walking to the center. In this game, each team designates a dead man walking. If that player gets out in any way, the game is over and their team loses. All right. So there you go. Your dead man walking or Mr. Dirty Sanchez. And, of course, Chainsaw Cartwright. Teams. Here's the opening rush. Clean start. No footballs. Jackie's quick are getting into the attack circle. They take control of both balls. And now it's time to take down some sumo. Oh, two quick misses for the Jackies. Two misses, good tosses, great dodging by the sumo storm. Over to Beardsley. Oh, I thought that was coming that down. Was a skipper. Skip shot. All players are safe. Both teams are full strength right now. Oh. Takes down Beardsley. That is key. Big loss for the Sumo. Beardsley was all over those cradle throws. But remember, it doesn't matter. It's all about the dead man walking. Oh, Great catch 
there. Aquafina to the sidelines. Back to Americus. He goes down hard. Good luck finding a cold pack big enough to ice down that huge ass. Jackies are at full strength right now. You've got to favor them. Here's Pipkin. Oh, the fake out. He's over the line. Good idea. Bad execution by Pipkin. Pipkin is out of there. First loss of the game for the Jazz. Okay, he tosses the ball back to Cartwright. Nothing. Off Did not step over the line, but oh, so close. Look at Alan Gary. His back looks like the floor of a barber shop. Awesome play by Munoz. That means the sumos are down to Cartwright. Cartwright, she's got to go for that regeneration target. She is the dead man walking. She's still alive. If she hits the regen, she's got a team back. Munoz hitting Cartwright on a part of her own body she's never seen before. Her foot. The little guys coming up with a mighty big win. So many things that watch and enjoy that match. Jockey's dominated, but Dante Alighieri keeping the sumo storm in there. He guarded dead man walking Cartwright with just a wall of hair and fat and stayed out there and deflected ball after ball. He reminds me of my Aunt Sylvia. I've seen his Aunt Sylvia. All right, we're going to take a break right now, but after that, more extreme dodgeball. Don't go anywhere. Our power player of the match, Mark Munoz, for taking out Americus of Bespis. 110 pounds versus 295. One shot, and the mighty ball.